Hi guys! So I'm really excited for what I'm going to show you today. I don't know if you've seen kind of the new fad this summer has been these uh, camping buckets. So they are buckets that uh, people usually take white buckets and they decorate them with like a black adhesive vinyl and then they put lights inside. So when you take them out outside at night and put the light inside, your design that you decorate the bucket with shows through the light and then you have kind of like a night light outside and they actually put off quite a bit of light and so these puck lights are um, now available at 651vinyl.com and I wanted to show you guys how I decorated my bucket so these lights are really neat the um, they come with a remote control so when you order from 651 vinyl you get the puck light and the remote and the remote has this little tab so you'll pull You'll pull the little tab out. The remote comes with a battery already inside. And then the puck light, you can see I've got it on fade right now, but let me turn it off and you'll see. So you're gonna take it and unscrew it. And when you get the light, you are going to need three AAA batteries inside. So I've already put my batteries, but three AAA batteries. So go ahead, when you order your light, go ahead, make sure that you've got batteries on hand so that when it comes in, you can start using your light. It's got this uh, little seal around the outside so that when you close it back up, water's not gonna get inside. So it can float in um, any kind of water. I think they're testing it in chlorine pools. I don't know if the word is back, if it works in a chlorine pool, but if you've got um, any kind of fresh water type thing, um, you know, tablescape or something like that that you want to float it in, you could do that. And then with the remote, you can see all the different colors. So you can turn it on. And this is my favorite one. This is kind of a um, teal blue, goes through all the different colors. And then in addition to just a solid color, they have a flash. So it flashes through all the different colors. And then you can do a strobe and they have the fade, which is what I had it on earlier, which is like a slow fade through all the different colors and then kind of a faster flash through the colors. And then you can adjust the brightness as well. I know it's kind of hard to see with my bright lights here, but you can definitely adjust your lights up and down. So really fun. So we're going to decorate the bucket. They do not sell the buckets at 651 vinyl, uh, but you can get your buckets at any kind of hardware store. I do recommend white. It's going to give you the truest color of your lights through that. Let's turn that off here. And uh, my bucket had some writing on the side, just like some safety measures. And I actually took it off with a little bit of acetone. You could also cover it with some white 651 vinyl or just decorate the other side of the bucket. So it doesn't matter how you want to do that. Again, it's just a plain white bucket. And uh, mine has a lid. You want to be careful putting these lids on. If you put it on all the way, once your light's in there, uh, sometimes you have to pull the seal to get back inside to be able to get to your light if you need to change the batteries or whatnot. So you can break that seal and get back in, but just keep that in mind. So you could also store some things in here if you wanted to. That will take away from the light though. So we are going to decorate our bucket here. And I have made, let's move this out of the way for a minute. I just made a file here. Um, I don't really camp. So I made one for, to just put on my back patio. It says I'm outdoorsy and then I like to get drunk on my patio. And I use the Amistry font and I will put a link to that font down in the description. I'll also have a link to the puck light and anything else I use in the video. I'll always put the links down below. And I'm going to use my absolute favorite app tape. This is the medium tap app tape from 651 vinyl. And so I've already weeded it. I did my design, the uh, size here on the bucket down is about 10 inches that you can use um, from top to bottom. And when I measured it across, my max was about 11 inches. So I just made sure in my design area, I kind of drew a box on my screen. It was 10 by 11 and made sure to keep my design within that so that I wouldn't make it 
so I couldn't see my design. You could actually decorate both sides of the bucket if you wanted to. If you couldn't decide what to make, you could put something on each side. So we're just going to pull off some of this app tape. I'm going to kind of measure it out, make sure I've got enough here. These are my favorite scissors ever. You'll see them in just about every video I do. If you use scissors all day long like I do, these are great for reducing fatigue because they open automatically, and then they lock. I've had these forever. They're now white and orange, but best scissors ever. And so now that I have this cut, we are just going to apply our app tape. And I'm just going to kind of slowly, I like to stick them under the table, especially when I'm working with a big piece. I just like to walk my vinyl down so that I know I'm not getting any creases or anything that are going to get in the way when I try to apply it. So we're just going to kind of walk this down. Once we have it on there, we're going to take our squeegee, and this is from 651 Vinyl. They have it in lots of colors, depending on what your favorite color is. They have red and uh, kind of a light purple and blue and the mint. Um, not sure what else they have. But I just want to make sure that my app tape is adhered really well to this vinyl. And I did, when I was choosing my font, because this is going to be outside and, um, you know, I'll probably leave it outside some during the summer. I'm not always going to bring it inside and it might get rained on and whatnot. I wanted to make sure I chose a font that was thicker. I wanted something fun and scripty, but nothing that was too fine on the points. I didn't want anything that wasn't going to have a whole lot of grab to it, just because it's going to be potentially getting wet and who knows what else. I just wanted it to have enough enough vinyl there to really get a grab on it. So that's why I picked what I picked. And so what I want to do is I want to grab one of my handy dandy alcohol pads. You've seen you could also use uh, alcohol just straight out of the bottle with a of a lint-free cloth or something. I like these pads just because they're easy. I have been handling the bucket. I think this just helps things stay longer if you wipe your surfaces down first. So we're just gonna wipe this bucket down where I'm gonna apply just to make sure all of our contaminants are off. Just gonna wipe that down. I also like these because they're pretty moistened. I'm not getting it too wet and then having to wait forever for it to dry. And then my favorite thing is my hinge method that y'all know I like. So I'm an eyeballer. I like to eyeball where things are going. I'm actually gonna trim this down a bit. This is gonna get in my way. I'm just gonna trim this off here. Trim this off here. Here. So I just want to center this and to keep it centered, I'm kind of stick that down, but I'm going to take my handy dandy blue painter's tape that you see me use all the time and I'm going to just tape this down right here. And you can use any kind of, you can use scrap piece of vinyl, blue painter's tape, green painter's tape, masking tape, whatever you got. And that's just gonna keep that vinyl from going anywhere. And then I'm going to pull this back off of here. And the vinyl that I'm using is a matte Oracle 651. Again, that's also from 651 vinyl. It is a permanent adhesive vinyl. So it is made to be 
able to withstand these vertical, smooth, non-pore surfaces outdoors. It'll last for several years in those kind of conditions. So there's no need to do anything on top of the vinyl once you've done it. You don't need to, to put anything over it after you've applied it. And so then I'm just going to, again, take my squeegee. And by doing it this way, we're avoiding getting bubbles under the vinyl. If you just peel the whole backing off and try to slap it on there, you risk getting it crooked or putting the, um, one section might go down before it's supposed to and you get like a bump in the middle of it. So I just like to take the little extra time that this takes just to make sure that everything's being put where it belongs. So I'm just going to again squeegee that down real good. So again, this uh, 651 Oracal permanent vinyl. Permanent, I mean you could you could remove it. It's not it's not permanent forever and ever and ever and ever, but it does take a couple days for it to kind of settle in. So if you go digging at it with your fingernail or something, it will come off, but it's not, it's not going to go anywhere once it's on there. So again, we're just going to squeegee this down. All right. So get that on there really good. And then when you go to remove, remember when you pull this transfer tape, pull it all the way back on itself. Don't lift it straight up in the air. Pull it all the way back on itself. And I chose the mat because I just think that for this particular project, I like the look better than the glossy. But you could definitely use glossy. You could use a colored vinyl if you wanted to. I haven't tried it. If you do use a colored vinyl, make sure you come back and comment and let me know. Let me know how it did. Check out my Facebook page, facebook.com, Ella B. Creates and show me a picture of what it looked like with color. And I'd love to see it at nighttime too. So I think that looks pretty cool. So then once you have that, then you just want to pop your puck light in there. And I don't want to snap my lid on too tight. I'm going to turn our light on. No, you can't see this. Let's see what happens when I turn my light off here. And there we go. So we can check out the different colored lights. So even laying on its side, you can see. So again, we have or different functions we can cycle through the colors these are all right here on the remote you don't have to go back into the bucket to change these functions they're all right there on the remote you don't have to get up from your seat at all I really like this one so it's a lot of fun you could decorate a bucket for Halloween you could do a pumpkin you could decorate one for Christmas. You could decorate them for Valentine's Day, for Easter, for birthdays, for any kind of occasion. This doesn't just have to be for camping. Uh, you know, and you could have one for every kid they could decorate them. But there's lots of different uses for these, but I'm really, really enjoying this. They also have just a straight white. Looks a little bit blue through the bucket. I really dig that. So these are a lot of fun definitely a lot of different uses 
So please tell me in the comments what you would put on your bucket. I would love to hear. And again, join me on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash LB Creates. Show me pictures of what you made with yours. And again, thanks for watching, guys.